Today we're going to learn to draw Pete the Cat. He is one of my favorite characters in a book. Um, I have several Pete the Cat books. This one is one of my favorites because I had the authors and illustrators sign the book for my children. Um, they were super nice. I uh, got to meet them in Fairhope a few years ago. Pete the Cat has pretty simple features. Mostly, if you can learn to draw a few shapes, then you can draw Pete the Cat. I'm gonna be inspired kind of by this Pete the Cat with his long body sitting in this position. If you wanna draw your Pete the Cat in a different position, or if you wanted to draw just like the head and the shoulders like a Pete portrait, you could do that too. But I'm gonna show you how to draw the full body Pete. I am gonna use a marker today because I think it's easier for you to see, um, but you may want to use a pencil so that you can erase if you make any mistakes. I'm gonna start with Pete's head. He has a pretty big sort of oval or almost football shaped head. So I'm gonna start with his head about right here. It's gonna be smaller than my hand. I need to leave room for his long body too. So maybe about like this for Pete's head. Now, one way you can make Pete's head and you wanna leave room for your ears, Pete has pretty big ears too, is to make sort of a rainbow shape. This will make the top of your oval. So I'm going to leave some room on either side and do sort of a long rainbow shape for the top of Pete's head. And then for the bottom of Pete's head, I'm going to do an upside down rainbow shape or sort of like the shape of a smile. And if yours kind of comes to a point like a football, that's okay. Or if yours is more rounded, that's okay too. Now Pete's ears are big triangles. And you can make yours even taller than this. And you do one tall triangle on each side of Pete's head. His eyes are very similar in shape to his head, kind of that football shape and they're so big that they touch in the middle. So I'm gonna start with my left eye and do one rainbow shape for the top of that eye. And then I'm going to do another rainbow shape for the top of the next eye. Now I need to make the bottom of the eyes. So I'm gonna start with this one and curve towards the middle. And then you can start here or on this end and curve back towards that one. The inside of his eyes, he has another sort of upside down rainbow shape or that smile shape. So I'm gonna draw one in each eye. And then he has a smaller one inside of that. Now for Pete, he has, this part of his eye is kind of a golden yellow and then this part is black. And since I have a black marker, I'm gonna go ahead and sort of color that in just so you can see which parts of the eye are which color. This part stays white. It's kind of like a, a highlight or a hot spot in the eye. Just so you can see a little bit better what those eyes are gonna look like. Now Pete's nose is really an upside down triangle shape. Um, if it helps to make your triangle shape upside down, you can start with a kind of a rounded letter V and then connect those at the top. You can't see Pete's mouth, so I'm not going to add a mouth to my Pete. If you wanted to add a mouth, you could add one there. He has whiskers on the side of his face and they really start closer to these edges of his face. So if you want to draw a few whiskers, however many you think Pete needs. You can add whiskers to the side of his face. Now his body is really long. It's almost like a triangle that started up here and flared out a little bit. So I'm going to add that sort of triangle shape. I'm not gonna do the tip of the triangle. It would be sort of right about here. So I'm gonna start right here and make that long kind of triangle shape down he has a really skinny sort of neck area up here. A long triangle shape down. Try to make them about the same size. 
So we have that line that flares out like a triangle. And then if you want to add arms, they don't go all the way up to his neck, but somewhere in here you could add arms. So just do those lines right next to those outside lines there. And then his feet, you can just sort of draw a little curved line at the bottom of those kind of front arms. Then I'm going to draw the line at the bottom that connects the body. So that's Pete's body. Now you can add a tail on either side. You can't see Pete's back legs, but his tail has a nice curve. So I'm going to draw a line up and make it curve and come right back around for a tail. And that's Pete the cat. Now in some Pete books, Pete has magic sunglasses or he has shoes that are several different colors. Um, in one story, he has groovy buttons. There's lots of great Pete stories. So if you want to add any accessories to your Pete, you could draw those on before you start adding color. I drew some and cut them out so that you could see Pete with and without those details. You could also do them this way, and it's almost like a Pete paper doll. So there's some shoes. I gave Pete, let's see, come back over here. I gave Pete a shirt. I thought this looked like one of our school shirts. And then I also added a bow. Now, you can make Pete more of a girl cat with a bow in the hair, or you could do like a bow tie if you wanted to. Very handsome. If you want to do magic sunglasses, you would just draw sort of oval shapes that are a little bit bigger than the eyes, and then some sides to your sunglasses. And you don't have to do any of those. You could have your Pete look like Pete is going somewhere else. Um, if your Pete looked like he was going to go to the beach, you could draw a different kind of background and you could draw a different kind of outfit on Pete, depending on what you thought your Pete would be doing. I can't wait to see what you come up for your Pete the Cat.